Welcome back to the Movement Network with Bart, and today, I have to do it. I have to talk about AB, Adrian the Problem Broner. Now, AB, we're going to talk today about a couple of things uh, that I have in my mind. One is, why should AB get a new trainer? Uh, two, AB needs to start letting his hands go, which is something everyone and their mother has always been uh, screaming at him. Uh, three... Should AB really go down to 140 or say at 147? Four, who should be his next opponent? And five, and most important, why should AB stay focused in the ring and cut all the BS? He needs to cut all the BS and get out of being out in the streets. He needs to focus on his career, which is boxing and nothing else. So let's get started. So... Before we, we, we even start talking about what AB needs to do to moving forward, let's talk about what happened Saturday. So this Saturday, Adrian, the problem Broner, 34 fights, uh, 34 wins, not fights. He has a total, I believe, of um, how many fights AB has? 30, 40, about 40, no, 38, 39 fights around there. Anyway, the thing is that Adrian Broner, actually, I think he has 40 fights on the dot. I think Saturday he made 40 fights. 40 bouts. That's right. He has 40. Adrian DeBron Broner should have never, ever won that fight Saturday. He started off late. Adrian Broner did not win that fight. And, 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 and it hurts me saying this simply because I'm a huge Adrian Broner fan. Uh, I don't think Adrian Broner showed up to fight and actually reminded me a lot of the Telfimo Lopez versus uh, the Matrix Lamanchenko fight where Loma didn't show up the first half of the fight. Then he came out strong, but at that point, Teo just had to win one or two rounds and he, he got the fight, which is exactly what happened. Well, Adrian Broner kind of did the same thing. And uh, for the life of me, I don't understand how AB won the first round when copy box didn't even give him, the, he didn't even land a punch. So it just goes to show you that sometimes boxing is a little corrupted. But even though I don't think AB won the fight, I'm happy he got the victory. I am happy that he got a victory. It sucks for uh, Giovanni Santiago. Giovanni Santiago uh, never fought outside uh, the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico. He's actually Puerto Rican. But he's, this is the first time ever that he fights any in the States. Um, and that was against AB. Now, it's my personal opinion that I think that Giovanni Santiago was handpicked for Adrian Broner to make a statement. But a couple of days ago, before the fight, I started noticing that AB was not going to do well because he had a problem making weight. The minute that took place, I knew that something was going on. And I'm, I'm a stern believer, and I'm, I'm, I do believe that if the fight would have taken place at 140, AB would have gotten, he would have definitely lost. Because Santiago said of himself, he said, look, I was ready to go at 140, and then out of nowhere, they told me that I could go all the way to 147. I never made the 147 mark, neither did um, AB. But I think Santiago was on, on mark to make weight, and then after that, he threw it out the window and just came in as heavy as he could. Uh, the way that he was planning to come in after the weigh-in. Anyway, Santiago... Santiago is not the kind of fighter that should have been in there with AB and giving him the whole 12 rounds and a lot of people second-guessing whether AB won the fight or lost the fight. This kid should have gotten stopped before the 8th round. And you know what? 8th round is being generous. I would say the 4th round, Santiago, Giovanni Santiago should have been out of there. AB should have ended this guy's career... But what do we get? What do we get on Saturday? We got a two-year layoff from Adrian Broner, which he, for some reason, refuses to stay active. We got an AB that came a little sluggish. Um, an entertaining AB, I'm going to be honest with you. AB is always, he will entertain the shit out of you. Uh, I think one of his quote was, uh, we're going to pop bottles, uh, cash checks, and have sex, and then hit the gym. Well, you know, he always got a little slogan. He's always, I like AB. I've never had a problem with him. 
But I do think that uh, Michael Smeldana did something to him, which uh, it kind of ruined him for a little while. AB, uh, man, a lot of people say that AB won the fight, and if he did, barely. It should have never been a close, a close fight. Uh, and let's get to it. Let's let's get to my first question. All right, should AB get a new trainer, and if so? Who should that trainer be? Well, the answer to that is simple. Yes, he should get a new trainer. Um, I think he's outgrown his trainer. They've been together since day one. And now the other question is, who should he, his new trainer be? Well, I think AB would really do really, really good with uh, Derek James. Derek James is a no, you know... Derrick James would definitely get A.B. back on track. Uh, you see how he got Earl, Earl the Truth, Spence. Um, he works very well. He's straight to the point. He doesn't put up with much. So I do think that A.B. needs a new, a new, a new trainer. Uh, and it should be Derrick James. Derrick James and Earl, uh, Derrick James and, and Earl Spence got a perfect chemistry. And I do think if we, if Adrian Broner gets rid of all that BS. He gets rid of all the crap around him and all that. He goes down to Texas with Derrick James and starts fresh. I think AB will be a player again. He will definitely be a player that um, most of us would, would, would enjoy to watch and, and will have a lot of fun watching him. I mean, AB is entertaining as hell. Now, another question that I was thinking that a lot of a lot of us fight fans will have is the simple fact that should AB go down on weight 140 or stay at 147 the issue with that is that AB don't have the discipline enough to stay at 140 maybe now he might start displaying that a little bit but the minute he gets a couple million dollars in the bank, like he said. He came into this uh, to this fight with thirteen dollars, ended up with thirteen million. Congratulations! Hopefully, he can make great uh, judgment uh, and 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 make good financial move with that kind of money. Um, Adrian Broner does not possess the discipline to stay at one forty, even though that should be his natural weight. But he doesn't have the power. To go to 147, and I think his body is breaking down. I think Terrence Crawford will stop him. Earl Spence will stop him. Uh, we already saw what Manny Pacquiao did to him. I think Sean Porter. Uh, it was a good fight when he fought um, AB, but it's not the same AB, even though he was able to put Sean Porter down. Uh, Sean Porter got up, and really, it, it wasn't much of a fight. I think Keith Thurman, that's been the fight that I've been calling for. Keith Thurman versus AB for me will be a very entertaining fight. Uh, we haven't seen Keith Thurman in the ring for a little while. Since uh, I think July when he fought Pacquiao. July 20th, I believe that fight was. July 20th, 2019. Um, Keith Thurman has nothing uh, nothing pending. So it should be a great fight. Uh, Danny Garcia, another one that I think that would maybe not stop AB, but definitely will beat him. Another one that I would love to see AB uh, against was uh, your Dennis Ugas. Now, Ugas doesn't have a lot of power, but he definitely possesses a lot of skills. That Cuban uh, school of boxing. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people mention that they would love to see AB versus Virgil Ortiz. And Virgil Ortiz is just a young lion. And I think AB should really stay away from him. Now, let's go to uh, 140 pounds, uh, which is not the proper weight for AB. It's, it's the ideal weight, but he doesn't have the mindset to stay in that weight class. He's going he's gonna to balloon away again. We all know it. And, and I'm not knocking AB, man. I'm a huge fan. Again, I, I am. But the truth is the truth. We got to say the truth. And I think Josh uh, Taylor, a, one, um, a junior waterway, Josh Taylor, would definitely stop him. Well, not stop him, but definitely beat him. AB has a, 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 a heck of a good chin. Remember when, Mike, when he fought McDonough, he was able to stand up to all McDonough's uh, heavy shots, and he kept on coming. I, I think that fight, we really saw AB um, and his and his will to win. Now, Josh Taylor would definitely beat him. I think Jose Ramirez would beat him. The fight that a lot of people have been talking about is Regis Progress, which 
Uh, I don't mind that fight. I like the fight. I mean, at this point, I got to be with Regis. You know, unfortunately, I got to go with Regis. I got to root for him. Um, it'll be a good fight to be if it's made. But I do know that Adrian Broner said that he does want to fight uh, uh, Regis. Regis, uh, pro Regis. But he said, well, he said, he said, um, Adrian Broner said uh, he'll definitely F up uh, progress when the fight happens, but it's not going to take place next. And that's a very, very smart move by AB. AB needs to get at least two or three fights at 140. Then after uh, he has the minimum two fights at 140, he should think about fighting, you know, uh, Regis Progress. Uh, he should fight, who should fight, um, I don't know, Morris Hooker. That's a good fight. I wouldn't mind watching that. Victor Posto, another fight that would be great for AB. I would love that fight. Um, Jose Pedraza, another great fight for AB. That would that would just be an amazing fight. Now, the issue here is that we have a lot of young Lions at 135 pounds uh, lightweight. And most of them are going to start going soon. Are going to start within the year. Are going to start moving up to 140. And I'm talking about Tofimo Lopez, Vasily Lomachenko, not, Vas not Vasily. Vasily should go down to one um, uh, to 130 around there. It should not be fighting at 135 pounds. He should go back to junior lightweight. I think that's when he when he's at his strongest. But we have uh, Tofimo Lopez is already struggling to make the weight. Javante Davis, Javante Davis is another one I consider another AB. He could maintain the weight at 140, but he's always had issues, even though we saw what he did to Leo Santa Cruz. My God, what a, what a crazy knockout. Uh, Ryan Garcia. Mario Garcia doesn't have issue making weights, but I do see him moving up within the next year, year and a half. Uh, Devin Haney. Devin Haney. No matter where he goes, he's going to give anybody a hard time just because he's so slick and such a great, great, you know, uh, just a great boxer, you know, uh, who we got. Richard Col uh, Colmey. Richard Colmey could definitely go up in weight and fight um, uh, AB. That would be a great fight. I don't think Linares should go up in weight. Linares has a weak chin. And by the way, there's rumors that um, Linares will be fighting Devin Haney next. And I that's a heck of a good fight. I do see Danny, by the way, um, Haney, excuse me, Haney uh, stopping Linares. Uh, and Javier Fortuna is another one that I would love to see go up and fight AB. Now, should AB, here's a good question, should AB uh, find discipline and stay committed in the gym, there's no way why AB should not beat all the names that I mentioned, with the exception maybe of uh, Josh Taylor and Regis Progreese. I think those those fighters will give him a little hard time, but he should if he's a hundred percent on point. If AB comes to fight, he should be able to beat him. Now, is AB still uh, a marketable name? Yes, people want to see AB. He's going to detain you. We all know that. But has it been lowered to a gatekeeper status? I think so. I definitely think so after this fight. I was hoping not not to have, you know, lower him to 100, you know, you know, lower him to think that he's just a, a gatekeeper. But I think Javier Santiago did a really good job throwing wonderful combinations, especially from the beginning, uh, and, and being very aggressive. And here's the other point is that what can any coach, if anything, do to force A.B. to let his hands go? which that has been his Achilles heel. AB cannot, will not, and he will always refuse to let his hands go. AB has a problem with that. AB knows he has a problem with it. But for some reason, something happened to AB where he's gunshot. He's gunshot. He would not pull the trigger and let his hands go. AB has an issue with that. He knows it. And unfortunately... The only one that I see taking that bad habit away from AB is Derek James. Will be the only, only trainer that will be able to tell AB, if you can't put up with my rules, 
get the, out of the gym. You know, and um, with Charlo there, with uh, Earl Spence there, I think AB will fit there comfortably because we know Charlo, he, we know he has a big mouth, right? But we also know that um, Earl is very humble. He could, don't get me wrong, Earl Spence Jr. does have a mouth on him when he wants to, but he's way more um, humble than both AB and and Charlo, so it will be a great match, a great team for AB to go and join. And uh, for those reasons, the ones that I mentioned, I do think that A, AB needs a new coach. B, which should be Derek James. B, AB needs to uh, find a way how to let his hands go. Uh, number two, AB has been lowered to uh, gatekeeper status, which just sucks because AB... I remember when he first came in the scene for uh, um, my, uh, um, what's it, Malinaji, and AB kept on, you know, it was very entertaining. I, t I took his belt and his girl, brushed my hair. Uh, the can men, anybody can get it. Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Haitians. Entertaining as hell, but unfortunately in this sport, you need more than that. And what he needs is a brand new training, uh, a reset button, and I know that AB is still young. Well, you know, AB is still young. He has a lot, a lot of fight still left in him. He's only 31 years old. People don't understand that AB is only 31 years old. 34 fights, 24 KOs, 4 losses, and 1 draw. Now, AB still has a lot of fight left in him. But he needs to let his hands go. I want to encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to do at least 2 or 3 videos a day. The minimum once a day. Uh, so go right ahead, subscribe, follow, comment, share it, do whatever you need to do. But I want, I definitely from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for listening and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.